Would you go into a competition wearing a pair of ratty slippers? I mean, do you think a warrior would go into battle without their weapons, without their armor, and without their armament? Right? No, they wouldn't. Of course they wouldn't. But if you go into a competition and you're not physically, spiritually, and mentally prepared, maybe you missed workouts, so you, you didn't go to the team meditation, uh, you didn't you didn't execute the game plan and goals that you'd set up for yourself to shoot every day or to work on your ball handling every day or to perfect your craft every day. If you're not ready, if you didn't execute those things, it's a lot like showing up to a competition unprepared. It's a lot like showing up to a competition in a pair of sli ratty slippers, right? That you, you didn't have enough wherewithal to bring your competition shoes with you. That's what it's like. Imagine this. Would you let a doctor who skipped their anatomy and physiology class or maybe got an F in it because they weren't prepared, they didn't study, or they missed their, their educational internship on surgical ACL repair, would you let that doctor cut into your knee to repair your ACL? Of course you would. There's no way you would, right? But sometimes we think we can show up to a game unprepared, that we can miss and skip the things that we sh we know we should be doing and somehow it's going to work out it's placing a lot of faith in those slippers to get you through the competition so demand more of yourself that you're prepared and that you're consistent and demand that of your team that they're prepared, that they execute their game plan, their training plan, that they show up to practice, that they do the things they should be doing. Demand that of them so that when you, when it comes to the heat of competition, you are there together, fully prepared, fully hardened, fully calloused, fully ready. Otherwise, instead of having faith in yourself and of your work ethic and of your consecutiveness and, and training and, 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 and having faith in the plan that you put together and of your program, instead of having faith in that, you're going to put faith in those ratty slippers. If you miss those things, it's a, like, a lot like putting faith in those ratty slippers. And here's what I'm going to tell you, right? When you put faith in things that you haven't worked on, you're just asking the universe to somehow magically align all these stars so that you can be successful, even though you hadn't put in the work to be successful. When you do that, it's a lot like putting your faith in a pair of ratty slippers to get you through the most intensive competition you could ever enter. And let me tell you something else. Ratty slippers will never make it into the game. A coach won't allow it.